This is the 6,000 watt low frequency inverter. It runs uh, pretty much my fridge, my um, TVs upstairs, and my and my whole basement downstairs. This is a 1,000 watt grid tide. I have six solar panels running to that, and uh, this is the charge controller that runs. Um, my batteries when it detects that the batteries are too low it'll switch back to the battery charge to charge the batteries and the batteries are at 14 13 8 or higher it'll switch them all to grid tie this is one of the grid tie powers that's making right now um, it's only I think it's 7 o'clock and these are on tr uh, solar trackers there's six solar or solar panels that are running these ones. This is the ones that the charge controller will switch over from battery to grid tie. This is kind of the junction unit. This is one of the charge controllers at 60 amps. It holds a lot of juice. And here is the intake for for my um, so, uh, wing turbines that I made out of um, some treadmill motors. Here's another charge controller, 60 amp charge controller. It charges and then it'll switch off from battery to grid tie. The top half of this charge controller is supposed to be intake right here. This is for my big wind turbine, I got it totally um, finished. Yeah, I'm built it, building out of a direct drive washing machine motor, and it comes through the. Um, it'll come through this charge controller. That charge controller will control it, and it'll switch from battery to the grid tie. Here are my battery banks. There's ten. Deep cycle batteries, 200 amp hour a piece. And them two right there, they run everything on the side like lights, solar trackers, fans. That battery bank runs this bad mamma jamma. This thing operates the whole basement. Some of the upstairs, it'll operate the TV, 100 watt TV upstairs, the fridge, an air conditioner. And then the whole down basement, which is pretty much just lights and computers and stuff like that. Here's the updated version of the last video. I've got six solar panels that are sun tracking right there. These constantly feed into the grid tie. That charge controller down there will switch from grid tie to battery when needed. Pretty much all self-sufficient system. There's another three. These three I can switch manually to whatever I want. Mainly they're all grid tie. These three are charging them two batteries that are running fans, lights, um, and a solar tracking motor. And these three are constantly feeding it into the battery no matter what. They're always charging the battery system. They're under control under one of the charge controllers. They never switch from anything but charging batteries. Here is eight solar panels. I got lucky and I ran across a road construction auction that we're selling those road construction signs with solar panels. I bought three total, took off 10 solar panels. I use four to 100 or 1,000 grid tie, the other four to another 1,000 grid tie, and these two I'm using to charge up my battery bank inside my barn. That's all they do is just charge batteries. Maybe I'll use a, a water pump and a water collection or something for my garden for out here. And that is an old motor stepper motor off of an old machine out of a big factory and it will produce all the way up to 140 watts 
on a nice windy day.